When you travel, do you use a map or an app? I'm Steve Turtle and I'm a work camper. This story is about Jill and me, our travels, our adventures, and a whole lot of work camper stuff. Well, where are we going this week? Settle down, chicken. We'll get to that next. Last week, we were in historic Savannah, Georgia. Then we traveled up to Charleston, South Carolina. We also talked a little bit about how many hours we would work for a full hookup site. If you missed last week's story and you'd like to see it, I'll leave a link right up there. This week, we're talking about our trip from Charleston, South Carolina to Union, South Carolina. And we're also going to talk a little bit about an app we found to help us find military campgrounds. Then next week, we're traveling to Charlotte, North Carolina. And I do not think the weather is going to cooperate. And I'm going to share a Work Amper job highlight that I found on Work Amper News job posting. But that's a little bit later in the story. Have you ever been typing on your laptop and crazy stuff starts to happen? It's a laptop, right? So I place the laptop on my lap and start typing. And then all of a sudden the cursor's shooting all over the place and extra letters start to appear. I'm like, what the crap's going on? I'm trying to figure out if somebody's hacked my computer. Are they watching me? I sure hope not. And, and then I look down and realize my belly's resting on the mouse pad. I coughed and closed out my Word document. And now for the weather. We're in Union, South Carolina, and the weather is not cooperating with our travel plans. Or we're traveling way too fast. Now look at Wednesday. That's my travel day. I got to get up and get in that mess. It's supposed to get down to 23 degrees. At this rate, by the time we get to Pennsylvania, we might even see snow. I'm a little bit sad. Well. When it comes to the weather, you get what you get. You can't really change it. Okay, let's talk a little bit about work camping. As a work camper, we use a few apps to help us out along the way as we travel. And we like to stay at military campgrounds when possible. They're cheap, secure, and usually pretty nice. So we found an app, and so far it's been working out pretty good, and I wanted to share it with you. It's called the Ultimate Military Campgrounds. It lists about 230 campgrounds across the United States. So far we've stayed at four of them and we'll stay at two more before we get home. The daily rates run between 20 and 22 dollars. Now let's take a look at the app, the Ultimate Military Campgrounds. Let me show you this. When you open up your app it'll be in the map view and you just hover over to the area that you're interested in finding out about a campground and then I set my options, my filter options, to the campground type to be RV site because that's all I'm looking for. And then my secondary filters I set for full hookup because I'm not interested in any of the rest and I'll leave the rest of the uh, filters checked and then I'll filter them myself as I read the description. And then you zoom in to the campground and as you zoom in it'll populate the campgrounds and then you can click on the campground and, and view the description. And then from there, you can look at details about the campground. You can add it to your favorites, or uh, you can leave a review. And you can find the app at the App Store. And also, if you would, if you use apps in your travels or as a work camper and you'd like to share them, leave a comment down below. How can you distinguish the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? By the shape of its mouth? No by whether it sees you later or after a while. You're an idiot. Well, I guess I ought to get to the rest of the story. You know, work camping's not all about the work. It's about the thing that follows, the adventure. Wednesday was a lazy day. We sat around, worked on the computer, paid some bills, and made some phone calls. Thursday, we were downtown in Charleston. We decided we'd go out and check out some of the old homes, went along the uh, water uh, down by the boardwalk or river walk or whatever they call that thing and uh, it was some pretty nice homes down there I love old homes it's just 
neat as can be. I, I'm, I'm so glad that they've actually tried to re restore and keep them uh, around. We saw one, it was uh, for sale, and uh, they wanted $7 million for it. Uh, we thought about buying it, but it's just too big. Friday was another lazy day. I don't think we did much at all. I think we went out to eat, came back, took a nap, and went to bed. Then Saturday was our travel day. Woke up bright and early, about 10 o'clock, and uh, had a visit with a moose. An old high school friend. Uh, hadn't seen him in about 42 years. Uh, we met up, went out, got some food, of course, shared some memories, and uh, had a good time. It was nice to catch up. Thanks for the memories, Moose. After that, we packed up and departed Charleston, South Carolina. We're headed to Magnolia RV Park and Campgrounds, just outside of Union, South Carolina. Sunday, we woke up bright and early, drove into Union and went to church with my Aunt Cheryl. And then after that, we went over to a restaurant, ate food, of course, sat around and talked. And then later on, Jill and I, we drove around and reminisced I reminisced about all the places that I had caused trouble when I lived in Union. And Monday, we're back in Union and we're going for karaoke, family, and friend memories. We're gonna have a good time. We're going to some uh, some place, and music hall in Union, and we're going to karaoke and just act crazy. We'll probably tear up the town. It'd be like, uh oh, we got problems. It's in the cops. Do you know why the chicken crossed the road? I can explain. It's simple. I wanted to see the naked cat. Okay, it's time for work camper job highlights. This week I'd like to share a link to the Barberville Pioneer Settlement. They are looking for handymen, groundskeepers, and kitchen managers. Also, friendly, energetic couples to demonstrate pioneer trades. I think that'd be fun. Like candle making, farming, woodworking, and butter making. And if you're interested in some of the more difficult trades, they will teach you to demonstrate weaving, spinning, and blacksmithing. The job is in Florida. It's about 35 miles west of Daytona. There's no pay. It's a trade. A little bit of work for a place to park your camper. They offer full hookup, 50 amp electric, water and sewer. They ask that you work 20 hours per person per week. The openings are for the 2019 summer season, April until October, and the winter fall or the fall winter season, October to April 2020. They ask that if you are interested in this position that you send a resume via email. And I'll leave that right over here. That sounds like it'd be a pretty fun job. I'd like to be a blacksmith. I'll put a link to their website over here. Nope. Oh. Here, no, I don't know. I put it somewhere. Well, what's next for us? By the time you see this story, we'll be heading north. We're going to Huntersville, North Carolina, to visit friends and family. Well, that's our story for the week. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, click that like button down below and smash that subscribe button if you'd like to see more stories like this one. New stories every week on Wednesday, right here on this YouTube channel. And ring that bell, that way you'll get a notification every time I post one of these stories. You don't wanna miss one. Until later, thanks for your time, bye.